Gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Joey Cold Cuts has arrived. We believe. Do we have Mikey V? Do we have Mikey V? Do we have Mikey V? Yes, we do, bro. Like, yeah, Bobby. we'll plug it. I mean, Bobby Props is your promo code for prize picks. Link is in the <laughs> bio right there. That shirt. I mean, their merch. I don't know how many yeah. people are going to prize picks for merch. That shirt looks so sexy. They just, they really stepped it up big time. It was like a major, major jump in the, in the merch game for them. It was like from, from, from outhouse to penthouse with their merch, man. Really wow, unbelievable that stuff. Good. And by the way, I don't yeah. know if I've mentioned it, but Robbie props is going to be your promo code right there. You could get logged into that as cold cuts tries to fight through, um, which looks to be some technical difficulties. Uh, Oof, Steppy D. Not the way we are. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. He has arrived. Joey Coldcuts is here. Coldcuts, is there anything that you would like to say to start the show here? Hey, gentlemen. That's a good start. Hi, Joe. I mean, yeah, that, that's a way to go about it. What are you drinking there, Coldcuts? This is, this is, by the way, Teddy and I agree, this is the best. The Snapple Peach yeah, Ice it's great. Tea. Yeah, it's a great drink. This is, you know this what's is unreal. That's, that's, I feel like that's like their flagship. Like if you're going to deviate for a flavor, I feel like peach is the flagship flavor, but I tell you which one is underrated. Can I say it on three with you? Okay, uh, I love doing this. I love this game. I love this game. Okay. And this would be impressive because there's a lot of snapples, fellas. We're going to go on my three. One, two, three. Raspberry. Raspberry. Wow, that yeah. is really, yeah. really special. The other one that's really good Raspberry is ma- mango is really good too. That was a mm. really special moment. Mm. Well, he kind of said it after me. I hope he didn't change what he was going to say based you, on what I you said. Know, you know what I like too? Is, um, <laughs> why would I ever change what I was going to say, Joe? Why, why would I do that? I, you you definitely wouldn't. You wouldn't. I, I would not. I would You're say a flavor that would you, you would laugh you you would laugh at probably. You know what's but pretty good? The raspberry slaps. You know what I like that might get laughed at? I do like the grape aid snapple. Grape? Grape aid. What's grape? You know what my problem is with grape flavored sure. anything is like I just can't get over sometime that like robitussin y medicine-y flavor of grape flavor yeah drinks. you gotta you gotta work through that i like i get it yeah. but you gotta be able to work through that because like a grape bait snapple is is great the problem is i don't want to sound like that like i don't want to be a prick about it because it's obnoxious to hear that guy but in all honesty i don't i, I have a hard time drinking drinks that are so ridiculously high in sugar like i'd rather use all that bad shit and use it on a meal than use it on yeah the drink you know what i mean and i wish it wasn't like that because i used to love you know doing those types of drinks. like cutsy that that peach tea snapple's got to be outrageous i don't know it's got to be like in the f- high 30s or calories. 40s in sugar i don't sugar. i don't have this often it's a treat when i have it speaking sugar of it, total sugar 30 grams sp- Speaking of yeah. a treat, and uh, bear down, I'm not even doing this to take a shot at you because they haven't sent you the care package. But I will tell you this right now: <laughs> I had that lobster ravioli. You Joseph. made it, dude. We were supposed to have it together. You know oh. what? It was it was sitting in there, and it was the right moment. I didn't feel like doing delivery. It just it was the How right was it? time. How was it? It looks it so was, good. It was absolutely tremendous. You know what it is? It's it's no bullshit. It's it's ravioli and just the biggest old chunks of lobster. But they didn't give a mm. sauce with it, did they? But you don't really need sauce. Like I just did butter because if you use the sauce, it's going to take away from the ravioli. Like it's going to take away from the lobster. I don't know about that. What Why do you would, you do, would you do a little bit of sauce? I do like, I think a, it's got like a cream, like cream sauce. sauce. Now, me, for me the record, Joe are really on par tonight. I, yeah, I we're really on the same page. <laughs> I don't think Bear Down's going to like to entertain this, but I do. I do. I would like to get Cousins Main Lobster to send you a package because they took the. Did we talk about them taking a cheap shot at Bear Down on on our care packages? <laughs> that was hysterical. I don't think we have no. we discussed that. Oh, there's a different way to see it. Bear Down it means they listen to the podcast. No, that that's a good. Yeah, support. yeah. You got to support. Now, I mean, I, yeah, no, absolutely. Cousin, it, cousin, listen, a listener's a listener's a listener. Cousins Main Lobster, who uh, I mean, we we had a Joe and we loved it. They sent you a care package, and I freaked out. I thought it was uh, unbelievable. You got a care package for me. If you could tell the folks um, of Mikey V just getting stonewalled by Cousins yeah, Main Lobster, yeah, I think the, they did the as great- a joke. I think they're going to send them. By the way, the CEO of the company reached out to me. He's a hockey guy, 
and uh, I'm going to go for drinks with him. He's a really good guy. Um, but Michael Carmody, he's, he's the guy that we met. He had the truck at, uh, at the Genesis Open. He invited me and Bob to come and try the lobster during the golf tournament. We did. Super nice guy. We connected with him. He sent us the packages. Tremendous. And then I told him when the last thing was in, he's like, well, I can send you more. I was like, you know, Bear Down really is, you know, is, is wanting to jump in on this. Because I do think of you, Mikey V. Like, believe it or not, what, I, and what am I? Am I? I'm, I, I'm not a charity case. You know, I'm not a make a wish kid. You know? I'm not like, saying what is, what is make this? a wish. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look out for you and take care of this you. This is you know? ridiculous. Now, uh, what are you, my uncle? <laughs> like, what, what now, is? This? Okay, now, you know what? Next story. time, I, you know, you asked, you said last time when the Brady box came, you said, please that ask. I thought, for, I, I thought so I could respect, get a box. I th- so I, well, I thought out of respect, they should have sent one. If you're gonna address. And say that it's like the pod, and you're gonna do that. I feel as though every member of the pod should be taken care well, of. Well, the golf thing, the Brady box, and I give Brady more shit than anybody, but for the Brady box, you don't golf. So I can understand why they didn't send you a package. But the reason why I reached out to them is because I said, you know, when I heard you say to Bob, like, ask Brady Box to send me something for the Brady brand, and they didn't, um, I was like, well, I'm gonna mention that, that, that Bear Down's interested. So, Bob, they sent a card. They said to, in the card, they said, you know, loved listening to the pod, big fans of you guys. And then tell Mike, tell Bear Down that the best things in life are worth waiting for. Now, that was Cousins Made Lobster that said that. That was the Cousins Made Lobster. But and, I do think they're going to send you one, Bear I Down. Do, I, I really I, do. I really feel good about it. I do too. And, and I, when you I, try I, it, Bear Down, you're going to change your whole perspective on these guys. I, I think well, we could call my perspective's no wait, time out, time out. My perspective's not gonna get changed because I said I thought their lobster roll was excellent. And that's oh. undocumented tape. Oh, you oh, said that I thought took it was way excellent. too long. I, it was the lot, bro. The line was outrageous. All I said down, was maybe they could get a little squirt. more help in the trucks. That's all. I mean, maybe how many get this delivered to your house? It's so good. And it's it's like well, it, I'm it's, sure you're gonna now, love it. The, the I never questioned thing, the quality of the food. Never. The Karen will be plastering it all over his story. I the, know how he is. The cousins, he was like that with this fucking licorice he just had the other day. He he now he's putting the story on me saying I'm great. an asset. I gotta tell yeah, you, have me as a I'm not a licorice. I'm, listen, is, I'm not a sweet. I'm not a sweets guy. I'm not a licorice guy. But this, and I'm not gonna mention their brand really until <laughs> because I mentioned them quite enough. But this licorice <laughs> is really something else, bro. Like it's when, really when, like you take a bite of this licorice and you're like, what? What is this? It's like eating. Like the only equivalent I could do is remember when you're a kid and you had a fruit roll up. Remember, but you would take like the entire roll up or like like half of it and eat it in sure. one bite. Of course. And you got that extra juicy infusion. Yeah. yeah. That's what this is like in one little rectangular piece of this licorice. It, it hits like that. It's on. Is, be- is it better than red vines? Yes. Yes. Because I'm not a licorice really person. Good. Twizzler, Red Vine, this this brand, Me. quite frankly, puts them all to shame. What I, I'm you, not going to mention the brand. Whopping Wallabies, what is it called? <laughs> no, no, don't. No, no, exactly. I'm no, not no, giving no. them any airtime. No 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 no. No. No, 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 no. Another company that left. By the way, they saw the stories and just left me on red. <laughs> oh, oh so you know, here's fine. the deal. That's fine. Here's here's. here's you make deal. it sound like you're a victim. Like Bear these companies down. are out well, to get. I'm not, no, the- I'm not a victim. But am I going to continue to give them airtime when I'm certainly not being appreciated? What? That's not good business. Here's, <laughs> here's here's the problem. It, I do feel that Bear Down's been stonewalled by a few by a few brands. Yeah. Now, Cousins Main Lobster, no, I think that was in good fun. But I think an all out classic stonewall was Brady Brand. I think Bear, I think oh, the yeah. Brady Brand. Oh, it starts with Klondike was, first. Was Klondike was, sent him the stuff and then never responded to him. No, he, he was very good in Klondike. You no, had Klondike, Klondike. Klondike still reaches out to me. Yeah, I thought you, you just, wanted to do the collaboration well, with well, Klondike, his, and they didn't do it. No, his, Klondike wanted to do it with me for the Super Bowl, and I guess you know I I, I had certain demands, and I you know I perhaps <laughs> were too unrealistic. You know, but you know, a lifetime know, supply what, of mint chocolate chip ice cream. But that's the thing too is like you know at what point do you say you know like. My time is a little like I'm not trying to sound like a dick, but my time is like a little bit valuable. Like, like, yes, I have fun. It's all in fun. We do this, you know, the Instagram stuff. But at the same time, like, you know, I, this isn't a, again, this is not a charity case. Like, I'm not 
you know, I feel like my time is worth a little bit of money. I Bob Aaron, some, you're, some you're of like my a free agent money. and you bring value. However, to- however, everyone is an equal opportunity uh, person in, in terms of the things I try and taste and the things I eat, the clothes I wear. If I enjoy it, I'll throw the first thing out there to say, listen, I, I'm back in this. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, let me well, ask you, not, I know. Let me ask you this, Bear Down. In all honesty, yeah. outside of our sponsors, okay, if yeah. you could have three of your most desired brands that you would like to sponsor, now, my like me, my number one would be Chick Fil A. I've I've also heard, and I'm I'm not saying that it's true, but I have also heard that Chick Fil A wouldn't sponsor me because I'm Jewish. I don't something believe that, that. That's something that uh, I've I heard from from. I I it's that something that anti-Semitism is not welcome on the brilliant now, show. Now, yeah, now, now I don't know if that's true or not. That is what I've heard. Right. So I don't want to hold that against Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Great sandwich. Anywho, bear down. If you could have three top brands that you really, really could get behind, what would your three brands be? I could get behind Peloton. I could get behind Peloton if Peloton ever threw a little something at me and said, "Listen, you know, we want you to." you know, do, do this, do that. I could get behind Peloton. You see that shirt you're wearing there, Bob. And now I'm an ambassador for them, but if I would absolutely, absolutely love to be full-time sponsored by robot, I think they are just in terms of taking care of their people, what they do, no hesitation, never, ever for me or people I try to take care of. No problem. Mike, boom, send something out, boom, send something out. And not to mention the quality of their stuff. That's the Koopa Polo, I think Bob has on there. Or maybe That's I see, you, you know him by the names. I never know him by Jesus, the names. Jesus, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's- I listen, bro. The, listen, quality cannot be compromised. <laughs> the and then third, and then third, I would say like like a like a like a little off thing is is Yeti. I love Yeti. I'm a Yeti yeah. guy. How is that cool? I got Yeti's you, corner a long time. Well, it's going to be put to the test soon, Joe. I just you know, I don't get now how we're much. Have a lot of outdoor stuff and. It's good. it's a beautiful cooler. I mean, you know, top notch. All their stuff. Is I didn't notch. spare any expenses. Now, I Bob, um. Your top three. What would you do? <laughs> of course you do. Chick Fil A would be up there. Um, Jersey Mike's would be up there. Jersey Roots. I love their sandwiches. Um, Jersey Bob's. Jersey Bob's. You know these brands keep like a lot of the brands. Everybody's sending. You know they send me a lot of packages, so I get a little different packages our building right now and it, joke it tight it's a nice building but it's kind of by hollywood which is a shit area people continue to come into our package room and steal stuff non-stop yeah, it's almost every day you gotta file complaints well i have and they tell me to file a police report i don't want to file a police report every single time my stuff uh-huh. gets on and it's coming every day so that happened other- to me almost the other day. I I I ordered Postmates or not Post a DoorDash, and you know this this DoorDash person was so lazy. They didn't call. They didn't do anything. They just put. I ordered a boba. They just put the boba on the top of the right in front of the gate on top of the call box, and so they left. And they yeah, send the but- picture, and I'm like, this fucking jackass. So I had to go all the way outside to go get it. And as I was going down near the gate, I see this lady who's a, I guess she's a resident at the building walking into the, I'm on the phone with Teddy and she's walking into the gate and she grabs the drink. And I, I saw her red handed and I said, Hey, that's my drink. And she goes, Oh yeah. I just, I'm bringing it in because they left it on the call box. I hate when they do that. I said, put it down. That's my drink. And I caught her red handed. So Bob, this stuff does happen. People try to, Oh, they try to imagine some guy walking out in a neon floral print polo and pink pants. That's my drink. That's oh, my drink. Man. That's it was uh, that that is, you guys never had my she back. was trying to be helpful, Joe. Because helpful what? She was trying to take a mango boba for herself. Was she and, a and, resident of the building? Yes. Oh, this yeah, was a was, resident. I thought it's a resident the, of the building. She was going in see, with her dog. To me, that's grabbing that's, the drink. And I was like, that's my drink. That's just nasty in the in the mindset that also too. It, like it's somebody else's food. Like even though that person didn't touch it, I don't want that. It's like a mental thing for me. But anyway, I go into the package room, okay? And this has been happening every day. And I go into it and there's a guy going through packages. Oh, I would have lost it. I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't know what to do. I would have brushed him aside and grabbed my package and left. 
I, well, I grabbed my it's package a, and I a confrontational left. Confrontational situation, Mary. And then I called the building. Yeah, I'm not going to fight the guy. Should have taken a picture, Bob. Yeah, mm. I, yeah, I guess so. But you don't no, know. I should have. Like, I mean, they I should have. Thought, they should have a. They don't have a camera in they, there. They, they have a camera, camera, but they're coming in with masks. Like COVID kind of helped them because uh, they have yeah. the mask, and there's not much they could do. And people just open the door. And it's it's every single thing that gets sent. now in his defense. I had the three wood come the other day. I had to go through the packages to see which one was mine. So oh no, but I had a feeling this guy was going through. I mean, maybe so, but I I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Um on you never another... gave your top three, by the way. You said Chick-fil-A, and that was it. Chick-fil-A. No, he said uh, Jersey, Jersey Mike's Chick-fil- Jersey Mike's. Yeah, Chick-fil-A, Jersey Mike's. Um Maybe like a tailor made. I mean, That's I can see bad. myself. It, you know, with me, I don't really. I have know. mine. Mine are mine, but mine are way nicer than. They're more high end. Okay, Joe, take it away. It's all. It's all yours, Joe. I mean, if you're going to do any Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari is one of them. <laughs> Gucci's another one, and then Arab Emirates is a, is a third. It's just the, probably you know, the most. I did Arab uh, Air Emirates. Baron, you know that they're the best. They're the best for flying. You're, you're I like mean, flying like a yeah. king. But you're what are you gonna? Plane. What are you gonna? What fly are you? What are you? A, what are you? A, what are you? A fucking sultan? You know, <laughs> Arab Emirates and a Ferrari and a, while wearing Gucci, like and sponsored by a Kardashian. By the way, too, Joe. My take on the Ferrari. I wouldn't want to. I, I just think the Ferrari draws too much attention to you. Like if you just want to go to the grocery store. You got people looking at you and taking pictures. That's kind of nice, he no, does Bob? Not, he doesn't care about that at all. That's, that's it's I like mean, I get a on. nice Mercedes. I, you know, I don't need when you go to the grocery store, people are taking pictures and looking, asking what type of, you know what I mean? I don't need that. Joe is a human. Is. Joe is a human peacock. He's a human. Yeah, peacock. he sure as hell is. Dresses peacock. like one, and, he, and, and he's like a proud. Him. He's a proud peacock. That's correct. I do things with pride. Yes. More people yeah. should, you know. I. I you know, maybe maybe the world would be a better place if people have more pride in what they did and they did it to the best of their ability. I or know you do, Mikey. More, you do. Or if we just had more people like you, I believe. Right, that's I think um, where. He or was like going. any, and of I us. do, I do mean that wholeheartedly. Yes, I know and we, do that. and I we mean, love Joey Colcuts, but nobody loves Joey Colcuts more than Joey Colcuts. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Rolling Ump Show to let you know the Rolling Ump Show is brought to you by a sponsor a company, a product that I use every damn day. That is Athletic Greens. If you want to increase just your overall health, for me, not just physical health, mental health as well, Athletic Greens has been by my side day after day. It's lifestyle friendly, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or you're gluten-free. Athletic Greens was created when the founder experienced a ton of gut health issues. He created Athletic Greens after experiencing how difficult it was to create an optimal nutrition routine on your own. Athletic Greens gets it done for me. I think they'll get it done for you. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially headed into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune support and vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash dumb to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Folks, we interrupt the show to let you know that this podcast is brought to you and sponsored by BetterHelp online therapy. Life can be overwhelming and many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. Betterhelp.com can help you with all of that. It is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Hours. The podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp.com and the Brilliantly Dumb Show listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash BDS. Again, 10% off for their first month at BetterHelp.com slash BDS. Try it today. You won't regret it. On In other news, um, this morning, I got to mention it, and I so much so to where, Joe, you told me it was popping off. 
and it was unbelievable. ESPN first take, we said, oh yeah, they, it was great. They brought in Mad Dog, and Mad Dog's been incredible. He wasn't on this morning, but the ESPN first take might be back. They brought on Patrick Beverly, and Patrick Beverly was coming for everybody's neck. It was well, like Chris Paul's mainly. He had, but he was even going at it with JJ Redick. He was going at it with Stephen A. Smith. I just felt like across the board. Did you see this, Mikey B? It was I phenomenal. Mean, I, saw, I saw when Redick gave a take and, and Beverly just buried his face in his paperwork. Which, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, that's something I could see one of us doing on this podcast. I don't know if we would do it on a nationally televised uh, show, but, uh, you know, stuff like that draws the numbers. He's going to be a hit now, you know? So they're the going to outlandish back. you are, I think that you're the better off if you are in that industry. I bet you the ratings were really high. Uh, probably. They had to be. I mean, he is, he is, by the way, I think any NBA team, they got to have a dog on their team. You know, just yeah. a rough rider. He's one of them, man. You know, he is just, you know, PJ Tucker, I think, is one for the Heat. Just an Draymond. Draymond, Draymond is a dog. Uh, Payton, yeah. Uh, Gar- Gary Payton's kid. Is he a dog? Yeah, he's a he's like he's like his dad. He's like he's like a first team all defensive guy, I believe. You yeah. need like one of those guys who could just lock down. So you just put him on the other team's best player and just lock him down. You know, I think, and I think those, those Marcus Smart's guys. another one. Marcus Smart's a great example. I think Marcus Smart is is absolutely a dog. Yeah, I think he's unbelievable. You always like Beverly Bob. You always liked him since the start. Like you and and by the way, Bear Down. You know, Bob made a big. A big blunder. A couple of years ago, you were at the nice guy, and Beverly Bob has often said is one of his favorite NBA players, right? So right, right. it was pitch black. You could barely see inside, you know, inside this inside this room. You know how they, they dim the lights, it's super dark. There's like these mm-hmm. little dim candles. And this guy's got the whitest teeth of all time. So he's in the back, and you just see this smile, and you just see this teeth glim- glimmering. And I look over and then his chain is just sh- shining. And I'm like, Bob, <laughs> that's fucking Patrick Beverly in the corner. He had a bunch of ladies around. I say, you got to go say hi. And Bob's like, I want to, but I can't. I, I'm not going to. And and he didn't end up going and just, just saying, hey, you know what? You're you're one of my favorite players. Like, just keep doing you, dog. Or what? I, like, I think he would have been super chill about it. Can you imagine me going over and saying, just no, keep doing no, you, dog? No, no, you, no, I mean, honest, Joe, no. I would have asked. Yeah. He I would have said that. Might have no, come I think he would have. He would have showed you love. I think. I think it's hit or miss. I think he either loved it or I think he tells me to kick fucking rocks. I think those situations, and we've kind of talked about this before with the whole uh, the Will Chamberlain thing, and then the uh, when you ran into uh, to uh, Cam, Cam Newton, Newton, Bob. I just feel like a lot of times when you see a professional athlete or like a major celebrity out in the wild. It's always like an awkward, like you want to say something, but at the same time, you don't want to be that guy. And I just think like it's it's totally got to be the right moment where it's like, it's just not going to be awkward. Like I've run into several WWE guys at the gym I used to work out at because whenever they had an event at the garden, they would always train at this gym in New Jersey all the time. So I've run into like major guys there. Now, when you're working out and like you're like, to me, that's like a free reign when they're done working out. If you perchance cross them in the hallway, I feel like that's a venue where, hey, listen, I just put in my work. You just put in your work in the gym. I think that's fair. But in like a restaurant setting or something like that, the I just lounge, feel like it though. can get so awkward so fast. I think if I you know. do it, if you don't overstep your boundary, right? If you go in and you say, hey, just wanted to say what's up. You're, you're one of my favorite players in the NBA. Like, keep doing you. And then you 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 exit within a short like like time frame. That's just showing respect. It's not like you're hovering around the table trying to continue a conversation. You know, I think they'd appreciate that. The thing with the gym is when when if you see them at the gym and they're you wait till the workout's over, their endorphins are the highest that it's probably going to be their entire day because they just finished working out. To where that's probably the best time I think to get them. The only thing for me that I think should always be off limits is when they're eating. Yeah. If somebody if somebody's yeah. having a meal, I think it ha- it has to be off limits. Yeah, yeah, I don't disagree. I tell you what, nobody uh, had any remorse uh, approaching cold cuts at uh, at Billy's. That's for sure. No, or, guy was a cost. Guy was accosted. Or bear down. <laughs> or or well, bear, bear down himself is 
Your yourself shower as well, well, Bob. You are you are accosting. I well, think no in a bar setting, when you're having drinks, that. I agree. It's I agree with that setting. completely. I agree with that. It's completely. not like he was That's sitting down for a sit down dinner animals. with his wife or something. And by the oh. way, it's Patrick Beverly. It's not LeBron James. So I'm I'm sure he's not getting approached nearly as much as like a, a top tier superstar, which gives you even more you know room to to wiggle with, Bob. I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe you fucked so. Up. By the way, that I'll tell time you what, and the Wiz Khalifa time too. I'll tell you where I, I I fucked up. The Wiz Khalifa time, we were at the same bar, and me and Joe were at the bar, and I heard the classic Wiz Khalifa <laughs> laugh behind me. And bear down, I didn't even turn around. I just turned to Joe and I just said, "Wiz Khalifa's behind us." He's like, well, "What do you mean?" I was like, "That's his laugh. That is one thousand percent Wiz Khalifa." We turn around. He's got a what do you have a Shaquille O'Neal jersey yeah, on? Yeah, Lakers cuts? jersey on. Uh, it was, was pretty, pretty cool. Now, by the way. Something I, I'm going to call myself out for this. Okay. Um, Bear down always says that tall people get, uh, what would be the word for it? Not slandered. hated on it. Uh, slandered. Yeah. yeah. What's the word? No, I wouldn't say it? slandered. I would say um, they, they, tall people get, get, there's a misconception yeah, about tall people. I wouldn't say even it's a misconception. I would say people are are very liberal with the way in which they approach. <laughs> Being tall is the only physical trait which people ha- have this feeling that they they can say and approach you just based upon your physical appearance more than any other physical. Appearance. Since that's what I believe. Since we started, since Bear Down went on that tall people campaign, I will tell you this: I I really am starting to see it. If if I if there's somebody who is just tremendously tall as Bear Down is, I do watch for how people walk by them, how they talk to them. The other day, I got caught red-handed because I saw a girl at the Celtics game sitting behind the seven foot six Taco Fall who was sitting on the baseline, and I did a whole video about it about you know how this girl got ripped off on her seats because she's sitting behind Taco Fall. And of course, Bear Down came into the comments immediately. Uh-huh. And I, it's like, it's a classic But that example. girl got screwed. Well, Bear Down, I mean, do you they care? They hugged to... after the game, I believe. Yeah, I'm sure he tried doing a lot more than just hugging. Whoa, um, no, that's why do we, yeah, that's why do we got to That's it, like, that's conjecture. Like, why did that that's have pure to... conjecture. Absolutely. Why, why did conjecture. that have to go there? Why did he have to hug her after the game? Why did I he have to tell hug you this, though, Bob? I commented on it because I did feel that this was that was the exact example. And you know what this? I you know disagree. what the thing is? Is that you can't even get mad at Bob because I'm sure that thought never even I really know. crossed his mind. No, that guy made a hell just... of a better door than a window. I'll tell you that much. Oh, people, see, there it is. I mean, they, you see, you people see that are there? so <laughs> free to fire against the tall. It's just they they feel like there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. There's a lot of perks to being tall you get a lot of benefits what joe why you can reach higher places women <laughs> like you more if you're taller there's I women mean, like you more is that scientifically proven, yes Joseph? yes it is i'm at I a good height i'm at just under it. six one and i that's a good height but but i'm <laughs> saying like I, I would love to be six three six four that'd be great let me what tell you something. Not advantageous when it comes to the wardrobe. I can tell you that. Big pain in the ass for the wardrobe. Everything. Custom really? cut suits, pants, inseams. Yeah. I try, yeah I'm trying it, to buy five? a sports coat, right? I'm trying to buy a new suit right now for my daughter's baptism and first birthday. I literally, every jacket size that I get, I'm a 50 extra long. Every pant that comes with that suit jacket is an automatic 44 waist. You know what a 44 waist is? I mean... That's for somebody like I'm a, I'm like a 37 right now, 36, 37 waist, a 44 waist. And that's the only size you could get unless you get everything custom. You know how big of a pain in the ass that is, Joe? Yeah, but you're, 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 you deserve the finer things, Mike. You deserve a custom suit from time. But Joe, I have to be cognizant. You know, I have a family. I have, you know, I have. Bills. Maybe that should be I, your I can't sponsor. Just buy custom a nice suits. Custom I don't suit. disagree with that either. If anyone's out there listening to the suit world, I don't disagree I, with that. If if Mr. Joseph A. Bank is on the is on the horn right now, I do. Or, think or the your suit game's the actually really good, Bear Down. Yeah, because uh, I, I have to go when I find something, I just buy it because it's so hard to find certain things. If I see it, I'll I'll buy it. Holly understands. Yeah, she understands. Too. I think yeah. at I think when you get to six foot four, I think that is the moment where, um. 
I was going to say your disruption to society that would not have gone well. Not, not, that's not the words I'm looking for, but I think once, once you hit six, four, you deal with the stuff that you have to deal with. And by the way, bear down, a lot of people don't believe when we say they're always in the comments, all you guys act like bear down. So tall, how how tall are you bear down? If you don't mind sharing with the folks. Six, seven. Yeah. So, I mean, bear down, (laughs) bear down, seven, barefoot, six, seven. So really anytime I wear a shoe of any kind, it's like six, eight almost. Which is Bob, your choice of words sometimes is that would have been terrible. I remember the other the day when you said the birds of prey and he thought it the the, well, the birds of paradise and he thought the it was birds actual of birds. <laughs> now we can't confirm or deny that the Bob Camp refused to answer. So we we have no comment from the Bob Camp. We can't confirm. Explain what it is, so bear down because the fall. Well, the, the Joe uh, Bob sent a picture, or the Joe. <laughs> I, I think Bob sent a picture to the digest of Joe's hair upon awakening, and I mean it was just <laughs> it was just spiked up like there was just like crazy, it was so bro. it was so feathered and layered, but it was like spiked <laughs> up, and it looked like that flower, the bird of paradise that like comes out. It's a beautiful flower, beautiful flower. And it's got like those spiky leaves coming out of it. It looked exactly like it. It was an incredible, incredible comparison by me right off the it bat. It was really like, good. Yeah. Thing. Now I said in the chat, I was like, oh my God. I was like, I was like, it was like a bird of paradise. <laughs> and Bob, <laughs> Bob put it up there and he put his the music background, birds chirping. <laughs> obviously, uh, it is not a bird. It is a confirmed member of the flora family, ladies and gentlemen. The flora and the fauna. Definitely. The flora side, not the fauna side. So uh, that was very, very, but that's why when Bob put that up, I was I was crying and I was I reposted and I said it's the it's the morning birds chirping for me oh, because geez. that was so good. Bob, was so, so good. I love you to death, but sometimes you're so clueless, dude. You're so absolutely I, I, clueless. I, you know what, though? I would say, now, Cuts, be fair. If you polled 10,000 random Americans and you said to them, what is a bird of paradise? And you gave an A through D multiple choice. Bird, flower, uh, plant, I don't know. Yeah, but you put um, you know, the picture uh, up on the flower. A band. No, but yeah, Beardown, it's bad Bob because you put that, the though. picture next to the flower. So he saw but the flower. I don't think he saw it. Did you see the flower, Bob? He posted it. I put it on my story. <laughs> <laughs> he posted the picture that he put yeah. the birds. Now you didn't think the you didn't think the flower was actually a bird. <laughs> he did. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Um, he definitely did dude he right, posted okay. it and then he well, put the chirping anyway sounds. anyway i would say if you pulled ten thousand random americans gave him an a through d list that's bird, fair flower, but you put the picture band up. name i get it but yeah, i don't think I, a lot of people I, would know i i will say i i mean as much as i don't want to agree with joe i it, you you put it out i thought it was a bird I, 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 yeah. there's times though where bob just is so clueless it's just i i mean i love him that's more. really you know, part of his charm though keep yeah, in it mind is, it is it's great keep in mind too you guys i i do as much of mental head cases as you guys are you guys are very smart and very articulate um yes. i would say and and at the same time and that this is not my defense learn it and are you done I'm trying to help you find He's the right word. He's just going to keep giving uh, adjectives to describe you this. Guys, <laughs> you guys are, I mean, Joe, Joe's seven years ahead of me. I mean, you guys have seen a lot more stuff than That's I have fair. seen. That's and again, fair. not a defense for the whole birds thing, but you guys have seen a lot more than, than I've seen. And I, I think a lot of times it, you know, it tends to show. And if somebody also, doesn't put out a, a Birds of Paradise polo, one of the golf be, companies that do oh, these shirts, oh, yeah, should be should. out there. Should be out there and should be out there quickly if we're being honest. I'll tell you, I hope because it's hope, a nice looking flower. I hope Brady nice. Brands is the first one to do it. <laughs> uh, I would never see one. So I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just, and then, of course, you know, when any movie conversation comes up, I just kind of have to shut off, which is never fun. Um, but that's just, that's the way it is. Now, Mikey V, I got to ask you something because um, Bob tends to overreact. And, and, this, okay. and the Yankees right now have been as hot as they have ever been. And we were, we were, we were in uh, Temecula the other day 
and they lost one game to the White Sox. Yep. By the way, they won the next night. They beat they, 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 they beat the they swept. Took three of four. They took yeah. three of four from the Sox. Bob yeah. goes when they're losing. He goes, "That's it. This team, they can't do it. Uh-huh. They can't beat uh-huh. the good teams. They're not going to win." The <laughs> He's freaking out, bro. Yeah, freaking I get like out. And I'm like, Bob, they're the number one team in their division in the AL East. They're absolutely dominating right now. They, they can are. lose they one are. game. I, I mean, now, it is. you like that too? Or do you, are you yeah, more grounded? Well, I, I got to tell you at the beginning of the year, Joe, I was really, really down on them. And as was Bob in the beginning of the year, because they looked so bad offensively. The pitching has been great all year. Let's be honest. Nestor Cortez above and beyond expectations. Cole looked terrible at the beginning of the year. Now he's turned around four straight good starts. Severino was pitching a no hitter into the fifth today, I think, or the fourth. So he's been dominant tonight. Their pitching has been awesome. Awesome. But their hitting wasn't there. But now these guys, I mean, Judge and Stanton as a one, two, I mean, and Gallo these guys too. are literal. Yeah. Gallo, but that's what I mean though. If Judge and Stanton are going to continue on and obviously they're never going to be able to continue this pace, but if they're going to hit consistently like this, you only need those other guys to just be solid contributors, Glaber and DJ and those guys, because they are just, I mean, they're, they're out of this world hot right now. Out of this world. You, hot. If, if the they... Audi club, if the they, club. we will get that same group together. If they go to the playoffs, then if would you go, go back, to, Bob? Yes, we will be back there for sure, without question. Yeah, we It'll would have to sit at the Audi Club again. It has course, to happen, of course. Oh, only I'll never sit anywhere else in Yankee City. <laughs> I'm telling you, the deal you get for the Audi Club for eighty five dollars for that ticket. I'm sorry, like I, it's climate controlled, the private bar. I mean, that's the, might be the best kept secret at Yankee Stadium, and I'm actually sad I'm talking about it because <laughs> God forbid the Audi ticket, the Audi Club tickets sell out, and I didn't even have the seventy five dollar buffet that that Bob experienced. Oh yeah, Bob was that really day. diving so in I, the I fucking. Even, I didn't you know get what? to experience that. I, I was eating such a sickening amount, and I was eating the sushi, <laughs> and. Uh, it didn't feel right eating sushi at a baseball game. I always got on Yankee Stadium about that because that was a bad faux pas. Well, well, because people behind home plate, they spend, there's these corporate guys at Yankee Stadium, they spend so much money on the tickets that they have all this big buffet behind them, lobster, all this shit that they never come out to watch the game. So if you watch the Yankee game, it looks like those seats aren't sold when in reality they are sold, but these guys are too busy stuffing down lobster tail and sushi that they don't come out to support them. I happen to be that guy eating sushi and, and whatever I could get my hands on. And, and, you know, um, I didn't feel great about that, but the food, nonetheless, you know, we were a little buzzed up. In the meantime, gentlemen, um, what do you say we go over to our top five? I think it's about that time. Are we ready, fellas? I think so, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So I think we go dancing to the top five. This is a top five that we all came agreement to right away, right out of the gate. Um, and I appreciate you boys from that because usually there is a lot of backlash. We don't, we got to do this. We should do this. This was all agreed upon. Today, we are going to be doing top five seafood items okay so it can't be lobster roll it's got to be in particular seafood items caught from the sea and we will start with giuseppe d caught from the sea mind you caught from the sea that's hard pressed to find seafood items elsewhere (laughs) fuck off (laughs) all right this is tough um all right, um, I think I'm ready to do this. Um, we're going to start at number five. I'm going to go with oysters. Um, I think oysters are very versatile. You can do them cold, shucked um, with some mignonette. You can bake them. You can do them oysters, Rockefeller. You can do, there's a lot of different ways you can eat oysters. They're very versatile. They're very good. They're great aphrodisiac. Um, um, so sorry to cut you off, uh, Joe. Love the play. I'm scarred from Oysters Rockefeller because Mikey V showed me the best Oysters Rockefeller I've ever had in my life, and I will never get anything close. And I've come to terms with that. Like your five, I'll keep you rolling. Shout right. out Nikki Diamonds. Shout, shout out, out Frank. Shout and out. Oh, yep. Well deserved. I like to try those. Um, so that number five is oysters. Um, next, I'm gonna go with. I'm going to go with jumbo prawns. Um, I think prawns are so fucking tasty. 
Um, you could do them. I mean, I don't know if you call them shrimp or prawns, but like you could do them in a shrimp cocktail. If you do the sure. big ones, you could do, you could do them like, you know, butter with some garlic and herb and, and, and I just, I love myself a good prawn. Um, I'll do or shrimp, whatever you want. Jumbo <laughs> shrimp. Why are you laughing, Bob? I was laughing at the pronunciation of herb. <laughs> it sounded herb. like weed. <laughs> yeah. Herb? Herb. Herb. Yeah. Yes. That's, how your no, drug herb. Dealer, that's how your drug dealer says it, Joe. Herb. Yes. Herb. They- um, so, yeah, I think that's a good pick. I don't know why Bob's laughing, but give me that at number four. Number three, I'm Canadian. I have to go with this. For me, is salmon. Um, a good salmon, I think, is just, it's, again, very, very versatile. You can poach it. You can bake it. You can do maple glazed smoked salmon. You could do, I mean, there's so many different things you can do with it. It's very versatile. It's very, very tasty. Um, give me salmon at number three, okay? Then at number two, I'm going to go with lobster, all right? I think lobster is fucking just so goddamn good. Shout out Cousins Maine Lobster. Lots of love for them. Um, and then number one, um, Alaskan king crab. That is my number one. And and the beautiful thing about it is it's only available certain times of the year. So it's just, it's such a treat when you get it. It's just, it's just delightful. It's the best. So give me, give me Alaskan king crab. And for my honorable mention, this was whoa, very- Whoa, 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 whoa. Are, are the one do honorable mention last? Traditionally, Bob, yes. Okay. okay. If you if you want to let it fire, though, Joe, you can let it fire. Don't get upset, Joe. You don't. I'm not. No, if, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. Okay. I was if say you want to fire mention, it, you could fire it. Honorable mention would be scallops, like a good Digby scallop, really fucking tasty. Okay. Um. Let's head over, Mikey V. Any issues there? Uh, no, no. Other than the pronunciation of herb and uh, calling the <laughs> shrimp a prawn, no, no issues. Really. But that is so Joe to, to call. The yeah, it's the right prawn. on brand. Right, right. on brand is what right. Well, is it, what is it yep. supposed to be called? It's, the jumbo ones are prawns. You know? It's it's just yeah. overall that's just it's very on brand. It's okay. It's fine. Just very on brand. Mikey V. We well, tell fast Benry can write shrimp. I don't give a shit. Very hostile, Joseph. You're very coming off hostile. very. You're coming off very, very hostile here in the later half. Get down, take it away. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, number five. Number five. I'm gonna go with Maryland blue cr- blue claw crab. Regular Maryland blue claw crab. You could do garlic crab. You could do Old Bay. You could do lump crab meat cocktail. Which a lump crab meat cocktail is phenomenal i love lump crab so maryland blue claw crabs number five for me number four i'm going to go with a straight fish uh joe i'm not going to go salmon i will tip the cap to the versatility of the salmon but to me i'm going to go with my favorite tasting fish in my opinion you usually only get it a lot of times at upscale wedding venues or at a nicer restaurant i'm going to go with the chilean i'm sorry sorry, i was going to do the one two three and we would have missed fire okay Okay. yeah it's good play chilean sea bass for me is number four i love chilean sea bass bro like chilean sea bass when you bite into it is like I don't know. It's just something. It's special. It's a special fish. Very by good. My estimation. Number three uh, is num- is Joe's number one. I'll give me Alaskan king crab. Alaskan king crab legs are just uh, there's oh, yeah. there's they're nothing short of spectacular. Yeah. Men lose their lives for this fish. <laughs> it's the m- most dangerous profession in the At world. Least catch. They made a fucking movie about it. OK, these men and they go on a thirty thousand dollar excursion to just bring back these these delicious treats from the ocean for us. And that has to be appreciated. Lasting King Crab at three. Number two, give me a lobster. Put the bib on me. Give me a big old side of melted butter. Yes. A two pound, got to be a little careful. You don't need to go over a two pound. Once you go over two pound lobster, you're entering a territory that could get into the rubbery consistency. Yes. Got to be careful there. Pound and three quarter to two pound lobster with the bib on in the summer, ice cold beer. That is just mm. a delicious situation right there. Uh, I'm actually, I'm getting chills thinking about that because summer is right around the corner and that's going to be spectacular. And number one for me, give me the shrimp. I think shrimp, especially, I, I am such a gigantic shrimp cocktail guy. The jumbo U8s or the yes. U7s, which are the ones that yes. have to be over a certain amount of ounces or they won't sell them to you. And they're extremely expensive. But if you get one of those shrimp cocktails where it's oh, like one of these guys, boys. that's like this big, 
with the correct cocktail sauce with the horseradish, extra horseradish in that cocktail sauce, mm-hmm. that you got garlic shrimp, shrimp over pasta. There's just so many things you could do with shrimp. Give me shrimp at my number one any day of the week. Love shrimp. And then if we're going to do honorable mentions now, um, I would have to say an honorable mention for me. I think I like the scallop play, Joe, but I'm actually going to go with stone crab. Okay. Now, I don't know if I that's if that's because it's a tip, different variety of crab. I guess I got to differentiate that. It would either be st- uh, stone crab or, or clams. I'll go with stone crab, though. It's a good list. Yeah. Yep. Um, I, I definitely don't mind. I love stone crab. You ever, uh, there's a place, Joe stone crab in Miami, Florida. It's one of the most renowned stone crab places. Uh, if you ask my dad, probably his number one restaurant in the world. I mean, it, it is unbelievable. Um, number five, lock me in for oysters. I want oysters at five. Um, oh, it's in a home run. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. You probably sure, saw me sure. pep up a little bit. Stay um, hot, stay hot. I got oysters at five. Uh, number four, I'm going scallops. I do like the scallop play mm. a lot. It, you just it, at a nice place, you get scallops. It hits and it hits hard. Number three, a fish that if it's on the menu, again, it's more of an upscale thing. But if it's on the menu, I order it. No doubt about it. Dover sole. If I want fish and I'm at a nice place, I will hit the Dover sole. Give me that at three. Um, number two, lobster. Lock me in for the lobster. Yeah. I think did we all go lobster? Lobster, two? I think number lobster two, two across every, the board. Every one of us had two lobster. Across yeah. the board. Lob- lobster, uh, to be quite honest, lobster could quite easily be number. It one. could be one. Not for nothing. And could by the be way, number one. Anthony Rizzo Easy. just went deep. I mean, this yes, team did. Yes, is did. just yes, really yes, they're just firing. How many runs? How many runs? How many runs? Six, I have six, over six, eight. six, seven, seven. Oh, no, I need one six. more run. One more run to push. You're in retirement, Joe. What? You're in retirement. You're retired from no, the No, he, he Tom uh, I'm Brady taking, I'm taking he a Tom, leave He Brady that. Oh, okay. I didn't know if that could the get out leave there. leave of absence. Not. Okay. Well, right. now that he's got Brady brand, he has to be on brand with Brady. So he came quickly out of retirement as two goats as he went in, which is fine. Two, and, goats, um, one, two goats, one polo. <laughs> <laughs> of course, a reference there to two girls, one cup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number one, I got king crab. Uh, yeah, yeah gonna, good gonna, job, Bobby boy. Gonna, gonna throw that out there. I mean, king crab, absolutely. Uh, just cannot go wrong. Um, honorable mention. I don't know. I really like it, but I don't know how much of it is mental. I was gonna say caviar. Caviar, great one. When you start a meal off with caviar, it's great, but I, I will say I don't know how much of it is mental. For example, if you go into like a Whole Foods, okay, and you get a steak from Whole Foods or if you get a fish from Whole Foods, you naturally mentally think that that steak or fish is better than if you got it at a Ralph's or an Acme or anything like that. I don't know how much mental game is in caviar, and that's why I wouldn't put it in my top five. Am I crazy there, Joe? No, I think it's like a flex play. Like I would say, if I'm being honest, I would never in my right mind buy caviar to bring home to eat, but I would definitely order caviar if I was going out for a nice dinner party at a restaurant um, for two reasons. The first of which is because I think they'll just do it better. They'll have it prepared. It'll be fresh. It'll be, I, I don't have to worry about anything. And secondly, it's, it's a bit of a flex. Like I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy caviar before dinner and with some champagne and it kind of sets the precedent that we are really going to get after it. And, you know, then after dinner, I'll ride off in my sponsored Ferrari and we'll call it a night. You know, <laughs> I do. I, 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 I do wonder if like, if people didn't know the word caviar, like they've branded that so well that people know it's so expensive, so nice. I do wonder if people didn't know how expensive it was, how much they would enjoy it compared to other things in a meal. A lot of people don't even know what it is, to be honest, Bob. Yeah. They don't know it's raw. It's it's literally eggs from, you know, from the sturgeon, from, you know, there's different variations, but that's- From the sea. From the sea. Confirmed it, from the confirmed it's a good honorable sea. mention. I I tampered There's, with now, it. Joe. Have you ever seen this blue caviar? It's like a crystal blue color. I believe it's beluga. 
Caviar. Uh, yeah, there's beluga, beluga whale, and caviar. There's beluga and kaluga. There's green as well, which is the big pearls are like the top notch right. ones. So I I heard that this crystal blue one, and I've seen it before. I haven't had it, but I heard it's like you want to talk delicacy. It's like really yes. really delicacy. It's now Tom Bob's Bob. Bob's interest has been peaked now because now he's gonna have to search out some <laughs> beluga caviar. Maybe find get a new that sponsor. On, get that on the gram. Yeah, quite possibly. Um, Any caviar companies wanting to get promoted on Instagram, hit up Bobby. Fair. Yeah, but what's going to happen is That's, then bear down. That bear promo code, folks, is Bobby Beluga. Bobby <laughs> I'm Beluga. Gonna, I'm going to get you 10% Beluga Bob for 15% <laughs> off all purchases of your upcoming caviar. But then Bear Down's going to ruin it. He's going to message him and he's going to want caviar. And then there's going to be a beef on the podcast <laughs> about the caviar. And then they're not going to want to send me any caviar. So pretty much. Bear down, I will say this just before we finish. When Bear Down does get mm. locked in with like a top-notch sponsor, He's he guy. will go to war for this company. Like if any companies are listening, this guy is as loyal as they come out. I, I'll say I've seen a lot of loyalty throughout my life. This guy would go to war before switching to another company or another. Same way that he will bury you if you don't <laughs> sponsor him. Yeah. It's not about not. It's about the manner in which you handle yourself. <laughs> now, Klondike didn't want to do that thing for the Super Bowl. I have no, I don't slander Klondike. I won't slander them. But if you're going to leave me on red, I mean, you know, that's a little disrespectful in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it. Another edition of the Brilliant Dumb Show. Appreciate you boys. Love you boys. Joey Coldcuts, Mikey Bear Down, Cuz. You boys take care.